Hello, testing, testing. Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. As you can tell from the title, we are trying the Tear Tear Cushion Foundation, another highly requested um, review video. I'm gonna be telling you today whether I like this or not. I've been wearing it a few times and I'm not gonna lie, I've already filmed a review, but guess what? Damn, my did not work. Pulled out the footage and we saw that the audio was you did. I did a whole review video and there was no damn sound. Do you know if you're like a content creator like that's literally your worst nightmare. Unless you're a creator you cannot understand how that hurts your heart like the work that went into it for nothing and it's a talk through video so it's not like I can save it in any way shape or form so I just have to refilm the video. My lips are extremely dry what the hell. But I've already done the wear test, which I will include in this clip. But I really wanted to sit down here with you guys and talk to you about what this claims to do, talk about the shade and also show like the application. So this is what the foundation looks like. I got the shade 33N Macchiato and this is what it looks like when you open it. This closes off and you also get a sponge as well with it which is so handy. I did go and buy this on Stylevana, I think that's what it's called, it's a website here in the UK that was stocking tear tear. As soon as this went viral I bought it and then I waited two three weeks, I even emailed them and then they ended up just refunding the item. So I never got my hands on the foundation until I saw that it was on TikTok shop and I literally had to get it. I also got free shipping, I think it was around £20 which is not on the drugstore end but not totally high end either so you're like in the middle. This foundation initially had 30 shades but once this went viral and creators started doing more and more reviews on this and a lot of them were asking for more shades, expanded the shade range and added 10 new shades which I cannot see on TikTok. Um, I, they only have the original 30 shades so 33N Macchiato would be like the perfect foundation match for me right now but once the extra shades come on TikTok shop I'm going to see if I can get a more accurate matte. So this foundation is supposed to give high coverage, smudge proof and lightweight, suitable for all skin types including sensitive skin. It also has SPF 40 which is a huge plus for me. It has some skincare ingredients including niacinamide. Like I said they now have 40 shades. It ticks all the boxes. I can definitely recommend this for all skin types. The only thing I would say is that it does oxidize because this applies so beautifully on my skin like upon application it's like the perfect match but then throughout the day you can see like it's so much warmer i don't know what it is about this sponge that they've put with it but it works so well with the foundation so i kind of just press it in like this and just look at that shade match like it literally it literally disappears into my skin it's definitely full coverage as well. And I'm just gonna do one side so you guys can see. I am gonna bring it down my neck because it does oxidize. This is one side with and without. It's a good match and the coverage, the way it's just sitting on my skin is so, so, so good. And I'm not gonna lie, applying this is so satisfying. And you don't have to put a lot of this stuff on to get like really good coverage, but it's super lightweight. Like, I don't know what the hell they put in this. This is what it looks like. I am very, very happy with this. A little close up for you guys. So good, right? I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, that is my makeup all done and everything applies so buttery on top of this foundation. Um, it does deserve all the hype that it gets. The only thing is, I can I don't know if you can already tell, but it has warmed up on me. So yeah, I definitely need a new shade. I think this is a really great shade if you're like an NC44, but because I'm more like NC40, NC42 now, I think I definitely need a more lighter shade, if not more, less warmer shade. So yeah, I do, I mean, I still wear it. Yeah, it's on a warmer, it's like my summer shade almost. So in my initial review video, I had applied this, I don't even remember the time, but I wore the foundation for around like seven hours. This is me applying the foundation on the day and I show you the time. I can't remember what it is right now. And this is what like my makeup looked like. And then a few hours later when I checked back in, it did look very, very warm. 
as you can tell from the clips that I'm gonna put on screen right now but it wore very very well after those hours I went out and about and I, I really like the way my makeup looked so I would give this foundation a solid 9 out of 10 I think the shade range does need some work on it there's one thing to have a lot of shades but it also like the tones if you've got a million foundations that have a warm undertone it's not gonna really suit everyone I'm really struggling to find my shade in this shade range there are a lot of medium shades but I think there's also work needs to be done on like the lighter end and the more deep darker end formula the packaging the application the wearability of this foundation is top notch so I would definitely recommend this foundation it's very very nice and uh, yeah I really hope you found this review helpful <laughs> hopefully my mic is working I've been doing some tutorials and I just can't stop using it because it looks it makes my makeup it makes my skin look so flawless but without being cakey or heavy I really like it I recently reviewed the Huda Beauty foundation they both give really nice coverage but this is way more like heavier and thicker than the Tear Tear foundation I feel this less on my skin compared to the Huda Beauty and that's one thing that's kind of like sticking out for the Huda Beauty foundation for me is that it is on the heavier side compared to other foundations that I have but it's still a good foundation and this is definitely a better match for me than the Tear Tear one so I'm like <laughs> Can never get it right anyways i hope you found this review helpful let me know what other products you want me to review and if you haven't subscribed already to my channel make sure you do so that you can stay tuned for all the upcoming videos i'm going to try and vlog for you guys as well and yeah i will see you in my next video